What's up everyone, I'm Venom Astaire, the Rusty Greer of StarCraft 2, and today I have a replay that will blow you out of the water. It's something that is so great, it's almost unfathomable. It's Dark vs. Innovation. And if you're not familiar with these players, first of all, where have you been, right? I mean, these guys are just god tier. Dark here in the bottom left of Overgrowth. Innovation, the multi-time GSL winner in the top right. So let me just talk about both of these guys briefly because I have been featuring a lot of their gameplay on my channel and if you haven't been seeing any of that I urge you to go to my channel and watch some of the previous games because Dark and Innovation are just incredible and I'm going to be bringing you the entire best of five between Dark and Innovation. This is game one so if you're tuning in now that's excellent make sure you subscribe to this channel Click the little bell icon so you don't miss the rest of the series or any other future StarCraft videos. Dark is actually going for a spawning pool expand, which is abnormal. This basically means that instead of going hatchery first, he, you know, obviously built the drones up to where he wanted and then saved up his minerals to 200 to get the pool as opposed to the hatch, which is abnormal. Almost always you see Zergs go for about 17 drones total and then they'll go for the hatch and usually a gas in a pool sometimes another hatch but to make a pool first means that he can get a earlier queen earlier ling speed and earlier lings but it means that he will have less drones this is interesting because this seems to me that it's not only safe but it potentially could counter a Reaper expand if the player was to be very aggressive with the Reaper, but as it stands Dark is just going to be defensive with the Lings. Innovation is indeed going for a Reaper expand, he'll check the tower and then go back to his base. Dark is well known as someone who goes pool first way more often than others. In a game I casted between Dark and Neeb, Dark did this really cool build where he went pool first and it looked as though he was just going to be playing a safe normal game because he took two more quick hatcheries so he had three bases total very early on but then he basically just did a roach all in off of very few drones innovation is doing the classic swaparoo from the barracks after making a reactor onto the factory and he's going into hellion he has made a second factory which is incredibly interesting because this is indicative of mech play and judging by the second reactor we're going to get to see that Hellion Cyclone opener that has been receiving a lot of attention. I really like this style and think it's fun to watch and Innovation of course has, has excellent macro and very good micro as well. So I will love to see how he plays this style. Now basically the crux of the style is you have two factories and he'll be double producing SCVs and he'll basically just be making four units at a time. And that will be a hodgepodge of Cyclones and Hellions, he'll probably be going for two of each at a time throughout the game. And basically the entire point of this comp is the Hellions are really good against Lings and the Cyclones are good against Roaches and Queens. Dark's defensive structure of choice is going to be the Roach Warren. It will be almost completed once Innovation does his little attack. The good thing about this build is this little 4 Hellion 1 Reaper move out looks incredibly normal. Even if you play Bio, opening with this many Hellions and a Reaper to limit creep spread is normal. So Innovation can check the towers, maybe try to keep Dark in the dark. But good luck. Dark is very good at scouting. It might be the most powerful thing about Dark's play, which sounds weird, but his scouting is just top notch. Innovation's going to run in here with this Hellion Cyclone. Dark did kind of see what was going on. He hasn't gotten his Overlord speed just yet. But at this point, he's going to run over with some links and try to surround. But Innovation has a lot of Hellions. Having two factories with Reactor is incredibly powerful and allows you to get out a lot of units early on. But Innovation's going to commit to gunning down these queens, but he's going to get trapped by all this Roach Ling. So Innovation kills all of those queens, which is certainly a little bit annoying for Dark. If we go to units, he has two queens, so 
No queens to creep spread and he short one as far as bases go. But Innovation lost his entire attacking force. Which sucks. Because Innovation was really relying on those Hellions to keep Dark pin backed in his base for this early mid game. And if we look at the production tab, Dark is making a lot of units. A lot of attacking units here. A lot of Roach Ling actually. And a few Ravagers to try to be aggressive. And Innovation just has Hellions really. So these are going to be able to transform into Hellbats, which they will be significantly more useful at fighting once they do that. Innovation also has a few Cyclones. These will be very valuable. A lot of Lings are going to come up onto this high ground and poke around for a third, which is being constructed here. Dark's going to run in an Overlord to see a third base on this high ground. And Innovation transforms into Hellbats. And if these Lings run in, they're just going to get obliterated, as a lot of them have fallen already. And if we look in the production tab, Roaches, Roaches, Roaches from Dark. Notice he's not droning. If we go to Income, Innovation's actually winning. And Dark has sniped off Innovation's building worker on this third. So that's incredibly valuable because having three CCs to make mules, drop mules, is very valuable. But here we see the Lings run in and just get toasted. That's a barbecue, a South Korean barbecue one might say. And Innovation just laughs at those Lings. If we go to the Units tab, he's crushing Dark and Workers. Just crushing him. Dark has started to make Workers here. And Innovation does not have a whole lot of Hellbats anymore. He's stuck mostly on Cyclones at this point. Two Hellbats, seven Cyclones. So he's not out of the woods yet. And this third base is still delayed. This is a very uncharacteristic slip in macro for Innovation. If he had not done this, this third base would have been completed. As soon as he dealt with this push, he could have came out, taken his third, and mule hammered the shit out of it. But as it stands, this third base was delayed for about two minutes. And in Camp Zerg, we have the fourth base of Dark just now being started. A Evo Chamber is being finished. A second one is on the way. Lair Tech is being started. It's very worth noting that Dark delayed his lair to do that aggression. And really the main thing he gained from it is delaying this third base a significant, a significant amount of time. Because obviously he could sit down here on the low ground and shoot corrosive bile. Innovation's going to engage here but probably just run away honestly. As Dark has corrosive bile. Now Innovation has to make a bit of a choice. Because the Hellions have a longer range and they're faster, but they have way less health and are significantly more squishy because they're light units. So whenever he moves out on the map, he has to be wary of whether he wants Hellbats or Hellions. And here Innovation goes to take a third. Dark's Lair has finished. He started the Roach Speed, finally. Of course, you can't start Roach Speed till your Lair finishes. Plus one Carapace is on the way for Dark as well, as well as plus one attack. There is his Overlord speed. I suspect that he will try a little bit of drop play because that is the age-old answer to Zerg, or that is the age-old answer to Terran mech that Zerg has, is try to pull Terran in different directions because the mech army is incredibly powerful, but if you can split Terran's focus and split their army, you can often achieve a bit of an advantage because if you just try to run at the army straight up, Oftentimes, TVZ versus Mech, you're just going to get stomped. A nice little Roach Coalition here. This might be used for drops, it looks like, as Dark is starting to move the Overlords out there. He makes a drop Overlord. And Innovation was actually going for Hellion Harass. And if we go to Innovation's vision, he did not see the Dropper Lord. So, oddly enough, Dark positioned his Roaches out there to do a drop. And it worked out where he deflected Hellion Harass. And Innovation tries some more. He wanted to move those Hellions into the main to see the Hive timing. The Hive just now started. So Dark is going to do some drop action. And he's also going to go for Burrow and Burrow move speed. So this is going to be extremely irritating for Innovation. Who's going to have this very potent army around the middle of the map most likely. And notice Innovation has teched into full blown mech. Three additional factories have been constructed. All of them with tech lab. And this means that he's going to be making tanks. He's also teching into Blue Flame and 
He has double upgrades after starting that one armory opener. And Innovation is going to be dropped here as the Zerg pressures his main army with this Roach, Roach Force. And it's really just a ruse. There's not much going on. Innovation just retreated. But he's going to lose a lot of workers here. Eight workers, which is irritating because those workers could have easily been transferred to the fourth base. But as it stands, Innovation might have to start making more. And look at this. Beautiful use of Burrow. And this is what I mean. Dark's not looking to win the game with drops, but he's looking to be annoying and piss Innovation off and distract him and make him mess up his macro. So as it stands, Innovation's lost an entire main mineral line full of mineral workers. Okay, that's obnoxious just to begin with. For the sake of four roaches? Come on. Roaches are very cheap. He's having to waste two scans. He's had to move a large portion of his army. And, of course, it's delayed this fourth base and made it where he's also had to make turrets. Four roaches, guys. Think about how useless four roaches would be in a straight-up fight. Here we go. We're going to get to see an example of that straight away. But, once again, a drop in the main. And innovation is just being dropped constantly and constantly aggressed upon and forced to multitask by Dark. And look at this, once again, he runs out of the range of the scan. And while that is going on in the main, Dark is burrowing roaches at the fourth. Innovation is having to waste a ton of scans to deal with all of this nonsense from Dark. And because of that, Innovation is still yet to be maxed. And if we look at Dark's bank, it's absolutely massive. And some siege tanks are going to be sieged. Corrosive vials get thrown down. That's one thing Dark always do does, is throw down a ton of corrosive vial. And a little bit of an engagement by this gold base as I'm going to have to pause it. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm going to pause it here. So in the natural, there are going to be roaches here being dropped. And Innovation's having to deal with that. And 2-2 two -two is on the way. And what are we going to see here? The game deciding fight at this fourth base. Now Dark has a huge bank. That's something to keep track of. And if we go to units, Dark has vipers here. So he's going to be able to use Abduct, and he'll be able to use the very valuable Blinding Cloud ability. So we're going to hit play here. Siege tanks are going to fire from the low ground. Innovation's going to leapfrog forward here with tanks, and then use his Hellbats as a tanking force. This gold base, of course, is going to die. Innovation's reinforcements are going to stream cross map. Dark is going to try to counterattack with some Burrowed Roaches. He wants to set up a flank, actually. And Dark has a huge bank here. Innovation still isn't maxed. He's trying to set up a little bit of an attack here, but he's moving very slowly. A lot of these tanks are clumped. Blinding Cloud could be very powerful. And Dark has started to cut off reinforcements. More siege tanks being moved forward here. Innovation trying to leapfrog forward. The Zerg has an exceptional army. Innovation has to be very wary especially of clumping tanks with these Vipers. Here come the Vipers, and the T-Siege tanks are clumped, and here come the freaking Vipers! Wow! Huge, huge blinding clouds, and the majority of Innovation's army is going to be useless here because the Vipers just absolutely carried that fight. Innovation supply plummets. Dark is already making more Roach Hydra, and Innovation is caught with his hands in his pants and right when he wanted to move forward he got aggressed upon and just had to say oh, oh shit and re-siege didn't work out against a top tier zerg that makes vipers and engages on you from multiple angles and cuts off your reinforcements that just doesn't cut it and hydras are very squishy the siege tanks with plus three do a lot of damage so innovation might actually be able to hold off for a time but Dark is surging ahead in supply. He's almost maxed again. He is a hundred supply ahead of innovation. He started 3-3. The incredible macro Zerg Dark might actually be well on his way to taking game one of this best of five. And I urge you to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell notification. Innovation is going to defend at the top of his ramp here. He's actually going to split the few tanks that he has this time, but he has a few tanks that they can just be abducted, and he'll probably GG very quickly. 
and go on to game two of the best of five and there it is so if you like this you do not want to miss the subsequent games of Inno versus Dark these two guys are god tier they've won major lands in Korea so subscribe for more click the little bell icon to get notifications and if you're into vid.me or gab.ai two new websites I am on those as well Venomous Stare make sure you follow me on them